That's Adam Heiser, producer of our Pro 3 documentary film and my crew at the first race of our 2023 season at PIR. He looks a lot better in his Pro 3 hat. Most people do. I qualify 25th, as usual, near the back of the pack, but haven't lost a step off season. And as usual, Red Queen Valerie Dare doesn't miss a thing, spotting my unfastened passenger lap belt. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know you have two sets there. Yep, that's for safety. <laughs> 29 Pro 3 cars. Not bad for a season opener in April. This far back, I can't see the starter's flag. Lee Storgard and Scott Studeris must have better eyesight. At least I get by car tender's Johnny Mac. Wow, Guy Berry's on a tear. Eddie Terrace goes off early. I finally run down Guy. And Lee. Scott Studeris proves tougher. No contact, and thankfully I didn't flat spot the tires. Next lap I try again. Third time's a charm. Man, Phil Oliva has upped his game this year. He's one cunning linguist. Those wing bumpers can really fly. I finished 21st of 29. Top four, Matt Lowell, Scott Eckert, Kyle Byers, and Andrew Newell. Champ Corey Peters is 10th. Sunday's qualifying, I'm tempted to go inside. Danielle Huffington and Coley Tipton. Bye-bye. That's how you do it. Two-time champ Matt Lowell drafting Andrew Newell. I only made Sunday's race because Zach Watson replaced my locked right rear caliper overnight. It pays to have friends. I'm gridded 23rd of 29 and Zach's right in front of me. I can't get by Phil, but at least I didn't go off track like somebody did. Lap eight, I pass newcomer Phil Abrami. Last lap, clutch goes out. I can only get it into fifth gear. Six cars fly by. Pretty sure I heard laughter through the open windows. With Lee a DNF and Guy a DNS, I finished 24. But I'd improve my lap times by eight tenths. And Racer on Rails has until June 10th to fix everything before our next race at Pacific. Hope to see you there. As I limp back to the paddock in fifth, this guy bears the brunt of my frustration. Sorry.